Day one still, I washed my hair this morning. This is what it looks like after walking around, running some errands. I've separated my hair a little bit, just means I've gone through, been like, okay, I can separate that curl, separated like that. And I've done that just a little bit. It looks like I've done it a lot more than I have, but I think that's just a result of the mousse probably. As I've said before, I really like bigger hair. I like fuller hair and using two gels is giving me more defined looks. Since I reset my hair every few days, unless I figure out ways to like, I don't know, I think I might need to start diffusing more and flipping my hair and such when I'm drying my hair to get the body that I want because I stopped using a scarf at night for the same reason that I stopped using a bonnet at one point in time. It was messing with the shape of my hair. The scarf was making my hair flat. While at one point the bonnet was just ruining the whole shape of my wash and go and that was mainly because I didn't have a shape at that time. And now that I have a shape, I can just take off my bonnet, shake my hair out and kind of do what I'm doing right now, zhuzh it out and it'll go to its shape just fine. I used a little too much of the Uncle Funkies this time. Going in between the salon size and the regular size is messing with my cadence. So I'm trying to go just based off of feel, no matter what, it should be the way your hair feels. Does it feel like it's moisturized enough? Are the curls clumped? It doesn't really need that much more once my curls are defined and clumped into their own curl clumps. But I find myself being like, mm, let me put one more pump on the ends. And I think that's messing up my sets. Just not ruining them, but making them worse than what they could be and causing a little more frizz because I'm using too much product. And when in reality, it was fine. It's just more of a mental thing that I'm doing. So I'm gonna work on that in the future. All in all, it took me, like without setting up my camera and all that stuff, it took me about an hour to shampoo and detangle my hair. And then you guys know I get out of the shower because I deep condition under heat for another hour and then I got back and it took me about 45 minutes to style my hair. I can tell from using the curl maker for a few wash and goes, the difference is really in the hold of the two botanical gels. So if you like hold with your botanical gel, the curl maker. Uncle Funky's has good hold, it does, but the curl maker's hold is better. Like it could be a one product wash and go just like the Uncle Funky's, but a one product wash and go that gives you hold. And I do like it for that reason, but I would have to make sure I really got my balance down with how much I use of that because it can flake, which is really annoying. It feels a lot better than I thought it would after having put all that product in because at first it was giving sticky. It was giving gummy. I didn't like that. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. I don't think I came back for day two or day three. I don't remember. So you guys saw my day one hair. This is my day four hair. I will be washing my hair today, but let's take a look. I like doing this motion to give it more body. For me to have used a mousse on top, I think that the definition held out really well. It didn't give me as much body and I 100% know it's because I got super heavy handed with the Uncle Funky's daughter this time. Let me separate this. But when I tell you guys I separate my curls, you guys see this? At the root, I start at the root and then I'm like going down with my hands. If it gets too hard to pull, I don't. And I just separate it and pull it apart and that's what gives me a lot of body. The reason why I know that I use too much Uncle Funkies is because on some sections when I would go to separate my hair, I really couldn't separate the ends very well. They were like a little stuck together from like stickiness. And that went away after a few days, but I only wear my hair. I do my hair every few days. So I need that not to happen on the first day so that I can actually get the look that I'm going for with my hair. Okay, so day four hair clearly looks great. I could probably wear this for a few more days if I wanted to, not probably. I could wear this for a few more days if I wanted to. But my scalp itches, so I'm gonna shampoo. I'm gonna shampoo my hair tonight. <laughs> 
So that's what I do for my midweek wash and goes. Literally the only difference is I don't shampoo twice. I'm gonna shampoo twice on that Saturday or Sunday. So mm, I just don't feel like it. I could like, I'm sure it wouldn't really matter. I'm just using a gentle shampoo to shampoo my hair midweek and still deep conditioning under heat. It's great. But anyway, this is my hair. Let me zoom in. 